Hello everyone, Raccoon Formers here, and today I will be making a double review on the Transformers Studio Series, number 11, Deluxe Class Lockdown, and number 17, Deluxe Class Shadow Raider. I know I made a review on these two figures already, but I thought it could have been done better, and here I am. Let me know in the comment section below if I do any better. So, we'll start with Lockdown. One thing I need to say before we start the review off... These two figures are one of my favorite vehicle modes. They look just like a real Lamborghini. See what I mean? Uh, we'll start with Lockdown. He's decked out all in gray, as you see. Nice looking transparent windows, but they are a bit tinted. Nice looking windows with texture in the back. Little headlights, Lamborghini symbol. Red backlights, rolls very smoothly. Here's how it sounds on my desk. Sounds good, right? So yeah, not that much robot kibble underneath. I'm actually very impressed. So overall, a wonderful, wonderful vehicle mode. Let's tapering in a Shadow Raider. As you see, these two figures are pretty much the same. They both transform into a Lamborghini, and they're just the same mold. What's funny is, Shadow Raider didn't actually transform into the movie. One, he wasn't orange, and actually that's all I have to say. And what's funny is, there were multiple Shadow Raiders in the movie. Shadow Raider was Lockdown's minion, or personal minions. See what I mean? So yeah, even though Shadow Raider doesn't transform in the movie, he's still very nice. They had to make him transform or else he wouldn't be a good transformer toy. Get what I mean? So, let's take a look at Lockdown's accessories. He comes with two. One is this hook. That's kind of actually articulated, as you see. You can bend up and down like this. And this cool-looking sword, both decked out in gray. They're very nice. Let's start this figure's transformation. This transformation is on the trickier side, so let's get into it. First, you can detach the arms, and you can just bring them down, bring this out, and bring this down. Take this section, fold it out, and flip in these little doors. Fold this section up. Take this section, fold it out, and flip out Lockdown's amazing head sculpt. And you can take your finger in, in here, then you can just push out the chest and you can take the grill, fold it on an angle and then flip it in and you can straighten it out and tab the backpack into place, swivel the feet forward and then flip out the feet or the knees forward and then flip out the feet and you can just take this section, rotate it around and you can flip out this little missile port and swivel the arm around. Second move is just like the first. Then for the accessories, I hear you. You can just tab them onto those two slots on his arms. But here's what's not so good about the hook. It just doesn't really look all that good. Let me just get this on for you guys real quick so I can show you what I'm talking about. Stick with me, viewers. See, it just looks like he's locked down Cybertronian dentist or something. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, very nice. And here we have the Transformers Studio Series number 11, Deluxe Class Lockdown, and his awesome-looking robot mode. 
So that transformation was a bit tricky, but the robot mode you end up with totally makes up for it. Let's take a look at some of them, his awesome details. Amazing head sculpt, silver face, black back of his head, little green eyes, just like how he had in the movie. Nice looking missile parts on his shoulder, which looks very cool. Nice looking chest, a little blue texture here. Yeah. Nice looking wheels here. And he stands extremely well. The only thing I would have done better if I designed this figure was make this backpack a bit less clunky. This part is a bit loose, so just be alert of that. Here. So yeah, a very darn good figure. Let's take a look at his articulation. Head can look up this much and can look down this much and it can somewhat rotate but it's limited because it's this thing around his head. Arms can swivel all the way around but I don't recommend doing that because doing so might make the arm pop off and trust me, it's very hard to get back on. And there's also a bend at the elbow, and it can rotate. But doing so is probably, may knock the elbow off, but that's easier to tap on, which is nice. Legs can kick back this much, and can kick up this much, and there's a bend at the foot for transformation. And you can also, his arms are articulated enough that you can put his hands on his hips, like this. Which is very nice. And you can also do the superhero punching the ground pose. Sort of. And you can somewhat do the splits too, which is funny. Now, let's bring in Studio Series Shadow Raider. As you see, they look very nice together since they were in the same movie. I just wish that Shadow Raider actually transformed into this Lamborghini in the movie instead of being just a robot. You know. But yeah, they look very nice together. Very nice. The only difference between these two figures is, as you can probably guess, the paint. The head sculpt is somewhat different. And they have different accessories, which I'll showcase later. Good. So now we'll set Shadow Raider off to the side. And now let's start the transformation from robot mode back to vehicle mode. First, you can remove his accessories, set them off to the side. We'll start with the chest. You just detach this a little and push the chest in. And then you can take the arms, rotate them around, revealing the wheels. And then you can take the missile part, just slot it right in. Swivel, see, this is what I mean. The arm or elbow does pop off. So, but it does uh, tab back on easy enough. So you, then you just swivel it around and you can just slot the elbow into place. And then that's one side of the vehicle mode. Second is just like the first. Take the, the section, swivel it around, flip the missile part up. Swivel the elbow around and slide it into place. And there we have the arms all ready. Then you can take the feet, flip them up. Then you can swivel the knees this way. And you can attempt to tab the legs in, but be alert. It doesn't stay tabbed in at this point. And you can take the backpack, detach it. And you can take the leg. I mean, or, and take the cock or the, the, the hood of the car, hold it out. And what's funny is, when I first got locked down and I was trying to push the chest in, it was really hard. But here's the thing, Lockdown and Shadow Raider come packaged with the chest already pushed in, so that's why it was so hard. Funny, right? <laughs> so then you can just flip this section out. And then you can just take this section, flip out these little side sections, fold this assembly down. And you can just start shifting everything backward. And then you can just, see, like I said, doing so is probably gonna untab the legs. And you can just tab everything 
back into place. And then the door sections will just slot onto that section at the wheel. Yeah, this part can be a bit tricky, so stick with me, viewers. Then you can, oh, sorry guys, forgot step. Before you bring the top down, you need to fold the head in. That just gives you more clearance. Sorry about that, guys. Fold this assembly down. Click everything into place, making sure everything is nice and neat. And you can just Tab this section. See that little section on the bottom of the hood? This The missile part will slot right into that. There. And then after you tab the headlight in, then all you need to do is just take the arm, making sure that this section here stays on the outside, and fold it underneath. And then here we have one side of the vehicle mode fully completed. Second first, just like the first, tab that section in, then slide the arm underneath, making sure this part stays on the outside. Then for the accessories, they just tab into the same position in robot mode on the arms in that little slot. Like that. And like that. And here we have the Transformers Studio Series number 11, Deluxe Class Lockdown, and his awesome looking Lamborghini Alt Mode. And unlike Shadow Raider, Lockdown does transform into this Lamborghini in a, the movie. Here's a picture. See? Since this is a double review, we have another figure that we need to take a look at, and that is Studio Series Shadow Raider. But I will not be showcasing this figure's transformation. If you want to know how this figure transforms, follow the steps that I showcased for lockdown earlier in the video. They're the same mold, so they have the same transformation. Now, let's take a look at some of this figure's amazing details. As you see, he's decked out in mostly orange. Nice-looking chest plate that's orange with the Decepticon insignia in black. Head sculpt. The Most of the head is black with a little bit of transparent green. Um, nice looking black shoulder pads here. Black missile parts. Backpack is the same. The Yeah, it's all good. Wheels. Yeah. And like I said with Lockdown, um, one of the differences between the two figures is the accessories. Here is Shadow Razor's accessory. This awesome looking blaster. But what's sad is, um, on the back of Shadow Raider's box, this part of the blaster is green. Here's a picture. So I wish it was green in real life, because that's how it was painted on the box. So it should be the same, you know? But it's no biggie. Here's how you can apply it. There's two ways, actually. You can tab it right here onto his arm. But that's kind of dumb, if you ask me. It is, it is cool, however. But there is another, much cooler way you can apply this. See the how the holes in his hand are kind of like a peg? It will slot right into there, and this little tab here will slot right into there. And there you go. And now that blows the other way out of the water. Check this out. It looks like his hand transformed into the gun. That's how fleshly it tabs in. So yeah, looks very, very nice in that part. And the, the articulation is the same as Lockdown. So let's move on to this figure's awesome looking vehicle mode. And then once you get Shadow Raider into vehicle mode, here's how you apply the accessory. Simply just in the same spot that you would apply Lockdown's accessories. See? On the side. So yeah. 
a very nice figure. Let's take a look at some of his accessories in vehicle mode. As you see, again, decked out in orange, transparent windows, but bright transparent windows, not tinted like lockdown, as you see. The Lamborghini engine is decked out in black. Nice looking clear headlights, gold Lamborghini symbol, black fog lights, I think, of it, right here. Same amount of kibble underneath, but it's no big deal. Okay, we'll set that off to the side, it just gets in the way. Red backlights, black backlights too, I guess. So yeah, not much else to say, but yeah. Well, friends, this pretty much wraps up this double review. Thanks for tuning in. Remember to click that big red subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on a future video. And help your boy Raccoon Formers reach 50 subscribers. Well, friends, this is your man Raccoon Formers signing off. Peace. <laughs>